which has been good and I've listened with interest. Um, we've heard some very sound economic reasons as to why it should be Heathrow. I'm not quite sure on the party opposite's debate around climate versus actually it's okay if you do it in a region, so I entirely pick up on um, Councillor Ardenwater's thoughts there. But I think the real question here tonight and the real question that um, certainly the public are asking me um, is... Is um, this our decision to support this third road and way at Heathrow compatible with our climate change emergency and declaring a climate change emergency? Um, and I believe it is. And I disagree with the parties opposite with the best way to tackle our climate change and our climate change emergency. And I think that's what we're fundamentally hearing in this chamber this evening. We don't agree on how best to tackle the climate emergency. I've heard an awful lot of people who've got children who've got grandchildren. Hey, guess what? So have I. So everybody that emails me and everything else, I have children too. And when I think about the world that I want my children to grow up in, I want them to grow up in a world that doesn't take away from them or dictates to them how they should live. I want them to care, as I do, and act responsibly as guardians of the world in which they live, but to do so through desire and knowledge. You see, I want a world that encourages innovation and technology to help solve the issues that we face. And for this, I truly believe we need a strong economy. You see, since 1990, the UK has cut its emissions faster than any other major economy in the world even as its GDP continues to grow. The UK's CO2 emissions have now been falling for six consecutive years, the longest run of reduction in, since records back began back in 1850. And I am proud of how far the UK has come and would suggest that those that are protesting here this evening, if they really want change, they need to start to focus their attention on what can actually be done, not only here in West Berkshire, but in other parts of the world. And I can assure you that we as Conservatives will be doing this very thing. And I was really pleased to see that following our successful bid to hold the UN's Climate, climate Change Summit next year, uh, we will have that opportunity in Glasgow to do so. I want a world that does not attempt to shame, guilt or intimidate people into action, but rather it works with them and encourages and supports sustainable change. There isn't a single solution here. Heathrow is one option. There are many, many more. I went to Greenfest and I heard about the damage that um, clothing does in, in, in the environment. So there's many, many things that we can do. But what we're at risk of doing is that by disadvantaging our own generation in some way for a future generation, we'll alienate them. So the small changes that they can all make, the balanced approach that's going to be required will be missed because people will be turned off. And I don't believe that demonising the aviation industry is the right approach to take to solve the global issue of climate change. We know full well the benefits that its development has brought to our world, 63 million jobs worldwide, 2.7 trillion pounds in global GDP, social integration, cultural diversity, to name but a few. The development and improved accessibility of aviation has been and should continue to be hailed as a success. Yes, 
think of those with families around the world that need to travel to see those families. Those young adults who want to embark on a gap year to discover the wonders of travel. And yes, those businesses and our own local businesses that rely on freight um, and exports and imports. And yes, even those of us that now and again deserve, get a well-deserved break by flying out. 30 seconds. We can't rewind history and undo the impact of generations of development, but we can work together to mitigate and solve. And that is one of the reasons why I'm supporting this tonight. I have more that I would like to say, but I know you're going to bring me to an end. Uh, but I think that there are mitigating factors that nobody has mentioned here about um, the train system going into Heathrow, some of the mitigating factors that appear in that consultation. And actually, if you take the time out to read those documents in depth, I would find it very hard to do anything other than to support the recommendations made here this evening. Well, hi. Thank you, Councillor Doctor. Councillor Sommer, do you wish to... Thank you.